What's going on guys, King Shrats here, back with a video on the channel. And today we went to another one of those old restaurants in New Jersey. A couple of weeks ago, I went to a restaurant called The Hot Grill, which is located in Clifton, New Jersey. In New Jersey, we do this thing that is called Texas Wieners. Stop, you three-year-olds, that's what they're called. Normally, they are hot dogs that are served with chili, mustard, and onions. We call it sauce, but it's it's like a, a chili type of thing. And they usually have other things within the restaurant, and a lot of them are from like an other era, or an older era, where They've changed owners at this time, and people don't really frequent them as much as they used to. A lot of them are over 50 years old, or somewhere along those lines, and I went to that one and said, you know, there's a lot of these places around here, so let's try a bunch of different ones and see if these places still have it. I went to a place called the Goffle Grill, which is located in Hawthorne, New Jersey. This place opened in 1979, and I know it does have new owners, and I believe they actually move location from one to the next. But a lot of people say that, you know, when you get to older people especially, I, I haven't actually eaten here more than once or twice, they say, oh, it's not as good as it used to be, it changed on. So I said, you know what, let's risk it for the biscuit, let's go to the second place, we're going to go to more of these places, but I wanted to try this one, drop a thumbs up, you guys already know the vibes, we got a Texas wiener, we have the most popular items on the menu, and then of course some wild cards because I am a weirdo, and that is what I like to do is kind of switch it up, so... That is what's on the agenda today. Also got a dessert, which is a carrot cake. We'll get into these things as we go. I'm not going to hold y'all. Also got a Diet Pepsi, the zero sugar, because I drink Coke Zero. And everybody says, well, not everybody, but there's a group of you that say Pepsi zero sugar is better. So we're going to test that out too as well. Let's get into this video. First thing we're going to do is start off with the flagship. That is what is right in front of you, the Texas Wiener. Now, I don't like raw onions because they kind of hurt my stomach, so I never really get them. But all the way would mean the same exact thing, which is mustard, the sauce, which is like a chili type of deal, and raw onions on the top. And again, I don't get the raw onions because they like mess with my stomach when I eat too many of them, and they always like load it up too much. So that is what is on the agenda right here. Let's do this. Let's try it out. So far, we've done hot grill. Now we got goffle grill. Let's try it out. I can say the hot dog is the same hot dog from the other place as well. Like, as soon as you bite it, you can tell, like, the, the, from the taste cooked on the flat top. The difference really comes in with the actual sauce, the chili. And I don't know if it's because they use spicy brown mustard on here, which is a must for me. But the chili doesn't have as much flavor as the other one. It's not as not bad but it doesn't pop like the other one as much. Again, this is more of an in comparison thing. I also have familiarity with the other one more than this one as well. Not necessarily disappointing, clearly, because I hate the whole damn thing, but it's definitely a level below with the flavor of the actual sauce. I would give it a six and a half out of 10. Also got their fries with their sauce or their chili. Um, you could notice how thinner this is compared to the other one. The other one had cheese on it as well, but just noticing how it has like a little bit of a wateriness to it. And I can see the actual chunks of meat in there. Fries seem to be exactly the same too. A lot of these places have the same sorts of recipes. Yeah, the chili just doesn't, it doesn't, it's just like, it doesn't have the same flavor, man. It's almost kind of bland. Yeah, that's pretty bland. And normally I don't do this, but a lot of these places have ketchup that you can get with it because it's kind of like the old school way. So I'm going to try it with ketchup. Just wanted like, let's, just, let's individually with ketchup. And I'm going to try to get a piece that has a pretty decent amount of this sauce on here just to see if I can get some kind of flavor out of this thing, but. Yeah, it really is, it's, it's, it's incredibly bland. The fries are never really what carries these. It's always the sauces. I did get gravy on something else. Like, what are you, what are you driving? I'm not even pausing that. I'm not posing it. That's not even what that was. Like somebody would like I don't know, driving a boat, and, and and I don't know what the hell it was. But yeah, last bite. I mean, I'm I'm like gonna pile, I'm gonna pile the the, the chili on here. Did they forget like 
There's like no nothing. It's crazy. That was probably the most bold of the taste that I've gotten since I piled it on there. But that's that's really just not bringing in the points. And if you get these fries plain, you won't like them. You know, but I expect that. All these places have the same sorts of fries. They're old school and that's just more white. Yeah, sorry, man. Got to do it to you. Three out of done. But I did also get these potato rounds, which are like tater tots. And I got it with their gravy, which, please don't poutine me, okay? We did it with the gravy. It's not the same kind of gravy. I can tell you that right now. So, Canada, I love you, but can we not with the poutine? Okay, let's go. All right, let's get, let's get a, see if the gravy has something to it. Better. Better. Gravy has something. And these tater tots actually got a nice little, you know, tater totty that, that shredded. I would get these way before the fries. This I can work with. I don't problem with that. They're gravy. Again, it's almost like they watered it down. But it has at least some semblance of flavor. Let's go in here. Let's go in with a do the ketchup again. Normally I'm not a ketchup person, but these, these places always love to have the ketchup with their stuff. That actually works with that. That actually works with that. That I can get down with. Much, much better improve. If you're gonna try this, get the potato rounds before you get whatever those are, or at least get the gravy on the fries with cheese if you want to. But I really wanted to try their gravy and their um, sauce without it. Just see what it's with or just to see if it has some sort of flavor. I haven't had this in so long. But not that bad. I, I would eat this before the other one. I give this a seven and a half out of 10. And then we have a special burger. Yes, a special burger, which is a regular cheeseburger, but I got it. It comes with sauce. Yes, they're, they're chili. Taylor ham or pork roll if you're from South Jersey. Can we not fight today? Okay, and then it has some onion rings and cheese on it as well. I just wanted to try everything and see what was going on with this. That's good. Taylor Ham would make everything better. Also came with onion rings to go with a burger with onion rings. That's not a complaint, I'm just telling you. It's an okay onion ring. This is the best thing I've had so far. Killer ham on a burger is such a W. It's pork roll. Stop. No one cares. Call it what you want. I'm going to try a bit of this burger with nothing on it. Salt, pepper. But with everything else on here, it just brings it up a couple notches. It almost hides the fact that the chili doesn't have any flavor. I'm being real. But I would order that again. With the onion rings too. We take that one all day. Yeah. Also, a word to the wise for people who order from places like this: if you don't like soggy food, get the sauce or the chili on the side in a cup. Because all of these buns are just regular, like normal buns. They never really changed anything from even back then. And the sauce on there will make everything even like this. Like you can tell, it's it's. Some people have a food texture thing when it comes to soggy food, but I'm used to this because this is kind of how they always come from all these places. I don't want to eat that. <laughs> I just, I, I don't want it. But if I was going back here, that would be my first choice. Eight and a half out of 10. I can rock with that. All right, let's get a sip of this Pepsi Zero Sugar. I'm a big Coke Zero person now. I've just become a huge fan of it. And when I was having it for the last few years, a lot of people, you gotta try Pepsi Zero Sugar version. I know they've changed their recipes when it comes, it even says it. it says new improved taste in here. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I know they changed their recipes for a lot of these, and I haven't really had this one since then. It's good. And Coke Zero is still better. I apologize to people who are Pepsi people, but I have officially picked a side. For me, Coke Zero is like like elite, I and mean, this is very good. If you gave it to me, I wouldn't be mad at it. Like, if they say all we got is Pepsi, I'm not saying this is trash at all. 
I just prefer the Coca-Cola formula now. I can't believe that because it took me my entire life to pick one, but I'm still giving the edge to Coke Zero, man. Let's try this Italian hot dog. This is something I've been talking about for a very long time on stream and sometimes in my videos. Italian hot dogs are a very Jersey thing. It's basically on a long roll and they cut this, so that's pretty good. So you take two hot dogs, you put them on a long roll, then you add peppers and onions as well as potatoes and sometimes mustard. I don't think this one has mustard. And you got yourself an Italian hot dog. A lot of times it comes with sauce as well. But that is what it looks like. I'm actually a big fan of these. There's a lot of places that do these really well. And I saw it on the menu. I said, you know what? Let's give this one a shot and, and see what it's hitting for. That's not bad. That's not bad. Let me try one of these potatoes. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Is it the best one I've ever had? No. Is it pretty damn good? Yes. Again, a lot of these recipes are so old school that if you're not used to it, you might say things like, you know, it's kind of bland, and I totally see that. This one, texturally is good, the hot dog is good, and I agree with the fact that, like, my new school palate kind of feels like this is a little bit bland with the potato department. But it also might stem from the fact that when it comes to my Italian hot dogs, I do like to put a little bit of mustard on them. A little bit, not too much, just to kind of give it, like, that something. And it's missing that. The roll is a hard roll, but it's a long hard roll. Jeez, okay. Okay, I know. I already know. But because of the potato, onion, peppers, it makes it soft. So that you're not going to like chip a tooth. So, a lot of people hear the word hard roll and they immediately think, like, you know, you're about to chip your tooth on something. It's just what we call it. Not necessarily like, you can see, you don't hear no crunch or anything like that. So, this one's pretty good. I've definitely had better Italian hot dogs, but I'm not mad at that. All the prices on these things, like, you know, $8, $7, $5, $5. I'm not mad at those prices. So for this, I think it was like $8. I'm not mad at paying $8 for this big Italian hot dog. And this meal also was about $8 with the onion rings on the side as well. That I would give a seven out of 10 to. Enjoyable, pretty good. And then on to the other weird thing that I got. I got the sandwich wrap. Yes, that is actually literally what it's called. The sandwich is just kind of a play. A lot of Italian Americans, you know, they, 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 I'm not sure if they actually pronounce it like that. You know, a lot of people like to yam it up, but same people, they'll say when they call a sandwich, like I'm gonna get a sandwich, you know? So a sandwich, sandwich, that kind of thing. You can get this on the long roll as well as on a wrap. I got the wrap because I got the sandwich on the other one, but it is, I know y'all already gonna say something because you, it's mozzarella, AKA mozzarella cheese. And then there's a crispy chicken and broccoli rob in there as well. I'm a big fan of Broccoli Robin. When I saw the menu, I was like, bro, I'm just going to get it. Like, let, let's just see what this is like. But I, I don't have high expectations for this, though. The chicken's actually crispy, which is good. Good amount of cheese in there. You saw it. Big melty thing. The broccoli rob is what threw me off because most of the time when you have any kind of broccoli rob, by default, it comes sauteed in garlic and oil. And that isn't. So it's missing that garlicky taste that I enjoy. And because of that, I can't really love it. But I liked it. Surprisingly. I thought it was going to be bad. But it's not bad. But it's definitely not something that I would go out of my way to eat. It's just, it's... Man, it's like missing that. Like, just even garlic, just garlic. 
but the chicken, nice and crispy. They had chicken sandwiches. I bet those are pretty decent, depending on what you put on it. But everything so far, and all I have left is a carrot cake, is good. It's not trash. I know people, I've had people tell me that this place is trash now. I don't think it's trash. I do think most of it is okay. The most disappointing thing, and why I could see why people would say that, is because these places are, you go to them for gravy and chili or sauce. That's why you go. Their chili is bland. So if you want a, a hot dog all the way, which is why you go to these places, you're gonna be sorely disappointed. And you're gonna say, I'd rather go to XYZ, and I completely agree with that. So, would I say that this place is, is still, no. I heard it used to be really good. This is before I was even born. Uh, but at, at this point, it's just okay. I would get other things here other than a Texas wiener. And the problem is, if I go to a place like this, that's not why I'm going. You feel me? But I wanted to try everything else just in case. But we're gonna try this carrot cake before we get out of here. Uh, I'm sure this comes from a bakery of some sort. I'm not really sure, but I love carrot cake. You put it on the menu. It said three dollars for a slice of carrot cake. You know, pretty okay slice size wise. Let's let's see. We gonna get some carrot cake in here. I love carrot cake. Ooh, that's good. I'm sure they probably got it from a bakery, but whatever bakery this is, that's good. The cream cheese icing on this is just perfect. Hold the hell, are there raisins in here? That's a damn raisin. But it works. That's weird. Just that cinnamon nutmeg. Adding something, a little sweetness with that raisin and that cream cheese frosting. That surprisingly works like crazy. That's a good cake. That's a good cake. The best damn thing I've had here. Who would go to a place like this known for making hot dogs and order a carrot cake? That's why I do this, man, because I'm weird. That's how you got to get down. But the carrot cake kind of bangs. And then whoever made this cream cheese icing. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Not the best carrot cake I've ever had. But again, a lot of the diners near me serve really good carrot cake. But this is pretty damn good. Whew. Okay. There we go. All right. Must not be greedy. But I like that a lot. Seriously. Eight and a half out of ten. But overall, there's probably about four or five more places of these that are in my immediate area that still exists. There's a really popular one that a lot of people have been asking about. I have to wait until a weekend to get to that one just because of the hours that they keep and because of its location. It's hard for me to get out there, but it's on my list. So if you're from my area, I know you're already mentioning one place because it's the oldest one and I completely understand. Just give me a little bit of time. I'm going to get there. But I wanted to try this one because the weekday, this is still accessible, closed a little bit later, so we were able to get there. Would I recommend this place? No. Hot Grill is still the best one of the ones I've done so far, which are literally two, but it's still one of my favorites anyway. And if you want good sauce on your dog, I would go to Hot Grill. I'm just being real. This place, I talked to my dad about this place a little while ago and he said it fell off. If it used to be good, it fell off. Cause now it's just decent. That's not really why you go to places like this. A little bit of old school, but not bringing in the points. But I wanted to try it. We gotta try everything here. That's gonna be the end of the video. You guys already know the vibes. We'll be back. Tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to see Sisu, right? It's a movie. I'm going to see Sisu. You can look it up. It's a dude, and he, you know, kind of messy, but I like that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm going to see that, which means it's going to be something late night because I think my movie time is like later in the night. Um, so I'm going to be probably eating around like midnight. Maybe I'll, we'll figure it out. But we got a little bit of late night something tomorrow. We'll figure it out. But we'll be back tomorrow. More content, man. I love y'all. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.